Hello everybody and welcome to our Pilates for All class this morning. It's Pancake, Pancake Day. Trove Tuesday. You'll notice I've got the door open now because we were so hot. So hot in that last class. So this is our Pilates for All class which is 35 minutes long and we have that five minute relaxation at the end. My glasses are literally sliding off my face. Good morning Joan and Jim. Well done all of you who took part in that last class. It's a hard one. It really is a hard one. And I'll be will be interested to see um, a few people are going to feedback the kind of steps. I know we're totally accurate but maybe the steps and the calorie burn that we did there. Because that's just interesting isn't it? You know it's there's lots of reasons to exercise. Calorie burn is only one of them. There are many other very very valid reasons to do it. Hello Felicia. Hello Kaz. So, um, we're going to start seated, so I've got my cushion there, so if you want to sit on a cushion, because we're going to have a go at cross leg. Morning, Alison, morning everyone. Um, and I've also got my hand weights, and I've got my tie for stretching. So, if you have got those things with you, brilliant. If you've not got them, don't stress about it, we can cope without. So, we're going to get going, starting seated. I, think maybe, I might need to turn up just a little bit so I can hear it, because I've got a bit of road noise there. Right, good morning, everybody. Morning, Mum. So, sit yourself on your cushion. Now, the advantage of a cushion is it just lifts your bottom a bit and it gives a little less pressure around the hips. Hi, Vanessa. But if you'd rather have your legs out wide, that's fine. If you'd rather just sit on the floor, that's absolutely fine. So, first of all, cross leg. Oh, I'm going to take my glasses off, guys. Hello to everyone who's arrived. I can't see who it is now because I'm blind now, but I know you're there. So, first of all, posture. Straight back. Now, for lots of us, our knees will be up here. Please don't worry about that, but do think about working on your hip mobility. Just because very tight hips tend to lead to lower, very tight lower back. Um, and we, you know, back pains are absolute devil, isn't it? So, we're trying to get those legs down. So, if you are up here, that's okay. Just, well, we'll do some stretching for hips in a minute and we'll, we'll work on those. So, knees coming down. Lengthen up through your crown so you're lovely and tall. Suck in those tummy muscles. Take a big breath in. Exhale through your mouth. So, have you had your pancakes? I'm having mine after class, so I'm really looking forward to them. Lemon, lemon and sugar for me, always classic. Exhale. Good, lovely. Okay, so just a little bit of hip work, staying in that seated position. I'm going to ask you to do a little side bend. So this is mid and lower back too, but we're also working to loosen up that kind of hip girdle, the area where lots of us have a lot of tension. Not surprising, you know, our leg muscles and bottom muscles are the biggest, strongest muscles in the body. And because of that, you know, they get tight. That's quite understandable. Interestingly, the, the muscle that can exert the greatest pressure per square inch, pounds per square inch, have a guess. It's only found in women. It's the uterus, absolutely. Pounds per square inch, the uterus wins every time. Hands over the top, hold it there. And the other way. Interesting facts this morning. Over goes the arm, stretch it through. Don't let this leg lift. In fact, what I'd like you to try to do next time is actually push the other hip down. So I'm leaning one way, and I'm going to try and push the hip the other way. Hold there for you guys. So this is a big old stretch. Um, mainly through the lower back, mid back, waist. Oh, and the other way, over we go. So remember what we did, we led, we stretched, and then we pushed the other hip. So you can see that, I'm just pushing my hip away. Oh, that's an absolute beauty. Hold it there. Good, well done, okay. Arms out, exhale, inhale, doesn't matter when. Don't stress about it. So remember, this class is designed for everybody. But you know your body better than I do. So for some people, we'll do a move and you'll think, oh, no, that's a killer. It's fine, don't do it. Absolutely fine. Good, just a couple more. One more. Oh, good, relax this arm down. Neck and shoulders, just briefly. Head one way, opposite arm pushes away. Heel of my hand is pushing down. And the other shoulder relaxes. This is a really good one if you're feeling your neck and shoulders are a bit tight. Push away again. Hold it there. Oh. Ah, 
is lovely. And just a tiny bit of hip work before we go to the back to the floor. Come up onto your hands and knees. Um, if you want to kneel on a cushion, you can. And when we do um, our child's pose, we normally have our knees together, don't we? And when you do a child's pose with your knees really wide, so as wide as they will go, I'm trying to sit on my heels. So if you can sit on your heels, great. And then we're going to bring ourselves down. Now, for some of us, this will be enough. But for others, you might be able to get your elbows down. You might even be able to get your chest headed towards the floor. And if it's not stretching your hips, I'll be amazed. So inner thigh, hip stretch. It should feel like a really strong tension with a bit of um, feedback, not pain, discomfort. If it's pain, don't do it, just stop. Hold it a little bit longer. Good, well done, bring yourselves up. We're gonna roll over onto our backs. You don't need your cushion for a bit now, so just get rid of that. But if you want to use your weights, get one either side of your body. Roll yourselves all the way down. Okay, neck and shoulders, where are my weights? Look out. Neck and shoulders are relaxed. You've got your feet in, there's a gap between your knees and your, a gap between your feet. Take a breath in, pelvic tilt to bridge, nice and smooth. And then down we go. So most of you have done this one move with me lots of times before. And it's easy to forget that you need to concentrate on this one. So really focus on both of your feet. And I want you to think, okay, have I got the same pressure going through each of my two feet all the way up and all the way down? So just there, I can feel myself. I did a bit of a wobble. I felt my knees move slightly and the pressure changed on my feet. So I'm going to slow it down. Really try and get the same lift and the same lower. It does take quite a lot of concentration. Up we go. Down. And then, now we've got that sort of sorted and stable, what about your spine? Are you rolling through your back? Um, me and my husband were complaining about having sore backs this morning, and I know exactly why it is. We sat down last night on the sofa, and we were both sitting with our legs out in front, and we were leaning backwards onto the sofa. And you know what? That's a terrible position to spend any time in. So we're going to have to have a think about sitting more upright in our chairs in the evening, on our sofa. Lots of sofas are very squishy and the body just kind of sinks into a heap. And that seems fine at the time, but then in the morning you're very stiff and it's not necessarily your bed, it may be your sofa. So just have a look at your posture when you're seated. It goes for when you're working at a desk as well. Hold it up here for me, okay, nice hold. I've not got my hips the highest I can do them, but they're kind of fairly high. Take a breath in. Bring your arms up in the air for me, overhead, touch your thumbs to the floor behind you. Bring your arms all the way back and roll through your spine. Let's go again. Pelvic tilt, draw yourself up, tummies on, pelvic floor lifted, arms overhead and bring them down. Those people who would like to, get your hand weights this time. Same start, up we come. Check for me, you're pulling your abs in, everybody. All the way back. Roll down. One more time. Lovely pelvic tilt. Bring yourselves up. Arms overhead. Bring them back. All the way down. Super. Take your arms out wide. You can hang on to the weight still. Supine twist. So I'm going to keep my feet on the floor. If you want to make it harder, lift your legs up in the air. So smoothly moving side to side. I'm trying to relax my shoulders. That's it. Everyone breathing. Exhale. And the other way. Exhale. Two more to go. One more. Brilliant. Well done. Now keep your feet on the floor. Bring your arms up overhead. Okay, we're going to practice the arms for when we're in the bridge. Take your arms out wide. Bring them back up. Take them overhead. Bring them back up. Now one arm at a time. Out to the side. Out to the side. Overhead. Now here's the big challenge. One arm out to the side. One arm overhead. And then change. 
Oh, how's that for brain work this morning, guys? <laughs> Good for you, isn't it? So one to the side, one overhead. Well done. Okay, if you're now going, oh no, then just stick to normal. Into that bridge position now. So you know what's coming. Get those hand weights, arms up. We start off with both arms out. And back all the time, everybody. Let's do that twice. All the time, tummy's working hard. Arms overhead, here we go. Don't let your chest lift. And again. Now we're gonna go single arms to the side. That will make you feel possibly like you're gonna tip. Try not to. Let's do four of those. Tummy's on tight. If you've had enough bridge, go down and do it without the bridge position. Arm overhead, individual still. Good work, everybody. If you can hold this, do it. It's a long bridge though, so if you can't, don't worry. Opposite. So do you remember, one goes out, one goes up. I have to really, really think about that. It's a great one for our core, this one, not to mention the back and legs. Last one. Good work. Roll down. Oh, ha, ha. Have a stretch out. Good work, everybody. A little wriggle of those legs side to side. Super work. Okay. We are going to stay on our backs and we're going to do a little bit of leg lowering. So you know this one. Legs come up, tummy on first, up come those legs. Into your tabletop position. When you're ready, you're going to tap down, back. We're going to go start quite quickly and then we'll slow it down. Relax your arms. Doesn't matter what your arms are doing. Good. One leg, four taps. So it's four. Three, two, and then change over. So that's four, three, two. Now really slow and long. And then back. Oh. If that's too much for you, just keep it smaller. Out we go. And back. Back to single. Quick taps, here you go. Down, up, down, up. I'm trying to breathe, I do my best. Four more of those, tummies are pulling in. Remember, easier option, just bring your knees closer to your chest. Okay, four taps on one foot, here we go. Now, those of you who want to, you can make it harder by extending that leg a little bit, but I'm gonna keep mine close. Four on the other leg, here we go. Four, three. Two. And now here's that slow motion move. Tummy on for this one. Leg goes out. And back. Oh, that's a devil, that one. Other leg. And back. Good. Give your knees a hug in, everybody. So that long, slow move is much more difficult than the quicker ones, isn't it? Back round the other way. Round we go. Good stuff. Feet to the floor. Okay. Next one's nice and simple, actually. Feet on the floor, arm, upper body relaxed. You're just going to open one leg to the side and then bring it back in. Then we do the other one. Goes out and back in. Now I'm going to turn around slightly. So, what I want you to want to see, or you to see, is the leg that you're not opening stays still. Temptation is for this to happen. See how my hips moved? And the other way hips are moving. I don't want your hips to move. So leg goes out. Now it doesn't have to go far. So if we were in class together now, or if we were zooming and we could see each other, some people's legs will get right down almost to the floor, whereas others will stop very early on. Doesn't matter, everyone's different. Okay, so let's make it harder. Table top legs. Here we go. One leg goes out, it comes back in again. Other leg goes out and back in. Hold it there for me. Okay, same thing again. So one out, one out, then I'm going to add in. One out. Good. Add one out. Hands behind your head. Just two sit ups. Up, up, down, down. One more sit up. Good. Back to those leg opening. Here we go. Out, out. In, in. I want you to really focus 
are keeping everything still. So now the legs are still. Both legs. And again. Oh, ready for those opening legs. Here we go. Out, out. In, in. Other one. Sit ups. Here we go. Pull in your tummy. And again. Okay, let's try it two more times through. If you need a rest, please take one. Put your feet to the floor. That was the other alternative. Do you remember at the beginning? Hands behind your head. Here we go. Up, up. Down, down. We've got one more time through before we go on to something else. Here we go. Out, out. In, in. And again. Good. Here comes our sit-up. Up, up. up. Down, down. And again. Oh, good work, everybody. Knees into chest. That's tough, isn't it? Hard work. Okay, if you've got your band somewhere near you, we do a little bit of stretching. We've done a lot of work for the backs of those legs. So if you've got your band, it'll be useful. Don't worry if you have them. Okay, you're gonna pop one leg up in the air as straight as you can manage. Hold behind the back of the thigh. And all I want you to do, guys, is Relax your shoulders, straighten your legs through. Those who want to, using your band, pop it round the back, oh, round the back of your leg. Okay, and all of us are going to try and pull that leg in a little bit. Now I'm trying to relax my shoulders. And that's why the bands are useful, actually. I don't have to have my head and shoulders off the floor. You can use a tie, you could use a belt, a tea towel, a scarf, you know, anything really. Pull it again. Now, my neck knee is slightly bent there, so I'm going to just push it through so it's properly straight. Breath in. And again, another pull. Good. We're going to release that foot, but we're not done yet. Cross it on top of the other leg. Now, for some of us, that will be enough of a stretch, in which case, stay there. Everybody else, hands behind your other thigh. You could use the band again here if you wanted to. Head to the floor if you possibly can, and then bring that leg in. Oh, you know. So, this leg is strong. Use it. Push. Oh, and we're getting into those hips again. Oh, I bet the people with tight hips are loving this this morning. Push a bit more. Okay, so we're getting hip, groin, thigh, maybe lower back, a bit more. Everyone breathe, breathe in. Exhale. Well done, legs go down. Band again, optional, leg up in there, so you might just do it that, or you might do it here. Straighten that leg, don't be cheating. Make sure you've got a lovely straight leg. Breath in, and then Pull that leg in, relax your bum. So try not to be all tight around here. Relax your backside. Breath in. Pull that leg in a little bit more. Ooh, hold. Hold it there. Can you straighten your leg in a smidgen? Leg comes in. So this is a hamstring stretch, but not just hamstrings. We're getting a bit into the calf. We're probably getting into your lower back slightly too, but it's mainly leg. A little bit more. This stretch is also comes through to your bottom muscles, and they're quite hard to stretch, actually, quite hard to get to. And again. Oh, so do you remember what we did? We took the band off, turn that leg, open the knee out. So if you've got very tight hips, you might find your knee won't open out. But just get it as far as you can, everybody. Maybe give it a bit of help. Hand behind your other leg, grab a hold. Let your head and shoulders come back to the floor. And then pull your leg in. Breathe in. Exhale. In comes that leg. Hold. Well done. Everybody. Breathe in again. In comes that leg. And I could feel a big stretch down my backside and hamstring there. Round the hip too. A little bit longer. Fantastic. Release. Give us like a little shake out. Have a little slurp your drink. I'm just going to shut my door because it's got a bit chilly now. I was so hot from that last class. 
do it. We're going to come back up to sitting. And again, if you want to sit on your um, cushion, by all means do. If you've got hand weights, they will be useful for this section. So sitting straight and tall for me. Hand weights within reach. <laughs> Put them there. Rub your straight back. Legs out straight in front. You're not leaning backwards. Open your legs out for me as wide as they will go. You may find your now tipping backwards. Get your cushion, sit on it. Or lift up and tip forwards. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit more work leaning forwards. And we're going to do some upper body work too. So take a breath in. Tuck your chin. Walk your fingers forward. Now just go as far as you can without crying. Okay, I don't want any tears this morning. So lean it forward. So some of us might be here, it's fine. Others of you might nearly have your chest on the floor, in which case we're all really jealous. But um, I'm gonna kind of go, my furthest place, probably about that. Breath in. And then can you relax forward a tiny bit more? Option to make it a little bit different is to reach your hands down your legs. And you can gently pull, but I'd be gently. Hold there, breathe. Lovely. Bring yourselves back up. Okay, get hold of your weights. I'd like you to sit ideally cross-legged, but if that doesn't work for you, just bring those legs in. Because we're going to do a little bit of upper body work. Now, when we're working the upper body seated, you're going to keep your core tight or you'll fall over, which will be embarrassing. So arms in front, we're going to open out, bring them back in. Now if you haven't got weights, don't worry, you'll still work. And those who want to do more work with their arms, we've got those next, haven't we? Don't worry, we're not going to do too much now. <laughs> that would be crazy. Hold those arms out there for me, straight back, tummy's tight. Okay, lift the arms up a little bit. Then down. So this isn't really... It's an arms to an extent, but what I'm trying to get you to do is work your core. And we're going to do that another way in a second. And again. Good. Okay. Pop your hand waist down for a minute. Clasp your fingers for me. I want you to give me a figure of eight. Figure of eight. And make it a little bit bigger for me. Try and keep your hips still. I saw mine moving there. Don't let your hips move. Little figure of eight. Yeah. Lovely. Easy peasy. Now pick up your hand weights and do the same thing. Figure of eight. Now I can feel my waist muscles having to work. Stomach muscles pulling in to help your back. That's a little circle. Well, it's kind of an infinity sign, isn't it? Figure eight on the side. And again. Good. Stop it there. Put those weights down. Give your arms a little shake out. And that reminds us that when we're working the upper body, we are working our core as well. Good work, everybody. Okay. A little bit of work for the um, roll downs or the roll backs. So sitting yourselves comfortably on your mats. Hold underneath your thighs to begin with. Breath in. Tuck your hips under. Roll your back and come up. So I've got my hands under my thighs just to give myself a little bit of help to make sure that I'm not overdoing it. But some of you who are more experienced, you know you can take your hands away from there. A little bit slower. Here we go. Down, down, down. Oh, slowly up. And that's the difficult bit. Coming up slowly is really hard because we all want to rush. Tummy's on. Oh, back up. Good. Back to the quicker ones again. Here we go. So it's back, up, back. Up. Everyone breathe. Good. Give me four more quick ones. We're going to go for four. Three. Two. One. And then here come our super slow ones. Breathe in first. Exhale as you go back. Suck in your belly. Pull up your pelvic floor. Up you come. Let's do that same one again. Remember, you can have your arms out or even overhead if you wanted to. Up, you come, lovely. Little lean forward over those legs. 
It is quite tough, isn't it, the rollbacks? They are quite tough, I should say. Good stuff, everybody. Okay, so all the way back down onto our backs again. Down we go, nice and gently. Big stretch out for me. We're going to do some leg extensions now. So I want you to start with both knees up. And all you're going to do, very simply, push your leg out, bring it back in. Hand weights will be optional on this one, guys. Bring it back in. That's it. Shoulders comfortable. You can close your eyes if you like. So we're just doing straight leg extensions. Push out. The reason I like these ones, one, you're getting another back of the leg stretch, which most of us need. But also, it's a great way to tone and condition our stomach muscles without putting any strain through the backs of our necks. I know for lots of people, sit-ups are just a no-go. It just hurts too much. Now listen, put that leg out there, hold it. Then bring it up to 45 degrees. Take it back down. Then bring it in. Let's do the other leg, nice and gently. So I've got a flexed foot. You can see I've got the toes coming towards my shin. Go down. If that's too uncomfortable when you lift your leg, just relax your foot. It goes out. It comes up. It goes down. Yes, everybody, well done. Smooth, controlled. Back up. Now, if you want to add arms in, you can use hand weights or not, it's up to you. Back to straight leg extensions. Opposite arm overhead. Bring it back. And again, it's not really about getting stronger arms, this one. It's about putting more strain for your torso, for your core, so that the muscles have to work harder. They're not daft. Joseph Pilates wasn't daft. Lots of these moves are very similar to yoga. So if you do do yoga or kinetics, uh, you'll recognize they all steal from each other. But I mean, yoga is the original, isn't it, really? It's been going for you know, eons. One more. Okay. So next time, so I do the arms only. One arm goes overhead. Bring it back up 45 degrees. Take it back down. Bring it all the way in. Then the other arm. It goes overhead pretty much to the floor. Up to 45 degrees. Back down. All the way in. Guess what? We're going to add it to the leg, opposite arm to opposite leg. Let's do it nice and slowly. So leg and arm go out. They both come up to 45 degrees. They both go back down, and then they both come in. Okay, other opposite. I know, it's another brain ache one. Out we go, 45 degrees. And I want you to do it so smoothly. No rushing. Push out. 45 degrees. Are you breathing, guys? <laughs> Have we forgotten that long ago? Gave up breathing, ran about 10 minutes in. Extend, lift up. Good work, baby. I just want to do two more, that's all. Here we go, so one each side. Push out. Put in your stomach. Oh, good, I can feel my abs working there. Last time, push out, bring it up, take it back down, good, and bring it in, fantastic, well done. Pop those weights to one side, just a little drop of the knees down, pop those knees to one side, you can stack your feet or not, it's up to you. Shoulders are nice and relaxed, just let everything nice be nice and comfy. Option for those ones who like it, you can take your top leg over the top, it's up to you. Everyone else try and relax. We are gonna go into our relaxation in just a moment. Let's come in, change sides. Um, if you've got a nice blanket there, then get that on you. Don't, don't shoot off unless you have to. I understand some people have to, but try not to shoot off if you don't need to. Let yourself just have a five minutes relaxation. Exhale everybody, soften the muscles. Good, everything back to the middle. Fantastic one and all. Get yourselves comfy. I am going just Make sure this music is going to last long enough and it's not going to run out on us. And I'm going to make sure my clock has stopped as well. So get yourselves comfy, everybody. Yes, I remember today. 
take some lovely deep breaths and then find a comfy position on the floor because we are going to enjoy our well-deserved relaxation. <laughs> Brilliant. Well done, everybody. Hello, Ken. Who else joined? Oh, Roberta. Oh, hello. Hello, Roberta. Get yourselves comfortable. Get a blanket over you. Close your eyes. And I just want you to let yourself have a break. To do that, first of all, allow the body to become really heavy, sinking into the floor. Letting your breathing come deeply and slowly. And then once you feel your body's fairly comfy, turn your mind to your mind. Make sure it's not rushing about, giving you lists and jobs. Just allow your mind to slow down. Draw its attention to maybe your breathing, maybe to relaxing the muscles of your face, Every time the mind shoots off, draw it back in. Have a little stretch now, or oh, lengthen the body out. And in your own time, draw the knees up, maybe give them a hug. It's quite nice to give your knees a hug. Oh, I quite like to have my hand on each knee and do a little circle round, especially if my hips feel a bit tight or my lower back's a bit tight. Round the other way. Roll onto your side, bring yourselves up to sitting. Well done, everybody. Excellent work. <laughs> Thank you, Anne Marie. Um, thanks, everybody. Um, I hope you did enjoy it. I enjoyed that very much as well. 
and lots of different stuff there. We have got bite-sized strength in a matter of moments. More arms. Oh my goodness, we're going to have like the most beautiful toned arms. Um, so hopefully some of you will join me for that. If not, that's absolutely fine. I will see you all soon. Oh, thanks Elizabeth Smith. And um, don't forget, we've got classes running all week. And uh, next week will be much the same. So I shall see you all then. Have a nice uh, Shrove Tuesday. Enjoy your pancakes. Bye, everybody. Thanks, Joan. Thanks, Cathy. See you all soon.